Hi Virgo, welcome to a new reading Virgo. This is a timeless reading as you know already, which means whenever you say this, it is available and here are messages that you need to hear. So Virgo, in this reading, we are going to answer to the question when this desired event will happen for you. So please Virgo, think about the situation that you wish to take place in your life whatever that is can be in regards to love home job whatever it is think about this situation and let's see when things uh, will um, happen what uh, what you should know what you should do all right okay So I will use the tarot and some oracle cards here for you. So bear with me for a sec. We are almost done. And the last step here, Virgo. All right. So when the desired event will happen, when you realize that, that there is um, some negativity here that needs to be removed from your life. So speak your truth, draw those boundaries, don't let um, people uh, affect you as much as you let right now all right uh, may be more decisive in your um, actions um, find ways to avoid conflict you don't need conflict you don't need drama in your life all right um, also some of you here uh, this drama this negativity has to do with your mind with yourself in your mind, you are worrying too much. You are overthinking um, because you want like to find your home. You want to find your place in this world, but you need to realize um, how important is uh, the uh, how important are your thoughts. So uh, you need to, um, in order to manifest these desires of yours. You need to be um, to to find the strength to cut off something here that is not serving you. So it's like be a, be be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself and um, analyze right and see what is going against you and what is helping you. Uh, definitely the the negative thinking negative people or people that try to you know to put you in all kind of conflicts uh, and dramas that that's something that you have to avoid and you need to realize when you are being you know pulled into these situations Virgo this desired event will happen when when you accept um when you you are ready for change so you may say you are ready for change but you are not um you are not as much as you say maybe because the change that is you you have in your mind you expect is not the one that is happening or about to happen so you have the card of patience here you um you need to to have patience the change that you want is going to happen but not necessarily the change that you want i'm sorry the change that you need all right is in your destiny is in your faith um it will happen at the right moment and in the let's say right manner okay um you should be more in con 
connection with your feelings, how you feel, how you think about this. Because sometimes I feel like you are, um, your, your thoughts and your emotions are like beating each other, right? You are not on the same page. Sometimes you are, maybe you, you want things to happen like this and it's just not happening, all right? So you need to, uh, in your gut feeling, your intuition is telling you, right? That there is a right timing for everything. So you need to accept this. It's like you know it, but you don't do it. So you need to accept this, that everything happens at the right moment. And the change that you are waiting is coming, but there is a time. And you know, this time is here because, because you have to do some work before things are uh, happening. Um, what you need to acknowledge is that um, you need to, to fix, to repair something. Um, you are such a strong person, capable of doing amazing things, creating amazing things. Um, but there is something. Some of you have this victim mentality. Uh, again, I feel like the power of your thoughts is extraordinary. Uh, is affecting you at a certain level, all right? Quite a big one. So you need to deal with yourself most of the time, Virgo, I feel like. You need to, to fix the way you are thinking and to, to ask yourself if this is, um, is it helping you, you know, um, being in this kind of, mindset all the time, feeling like a victim, feeling uh, it's like you don't see the positive things or even you are good things happening into your life, but you don't uh, enjoy a, the fullest. So what do you need to do? Is to fight with your uh, mind the, is like you have um, you create these illusions you need to to clear your mind of things that maybe they will never happen so you need to clear the space all right you need to to be confident passionate excited for the future and also have this self-confidence that you are capable of doing amazing things. And also have faith. Trust that um, you deserve more. And also acknowledge what you do against yourself. Uh, what uh, the power of your thoughts are creating this power you should use for constructive, for uh, building yourself up, for constructive things in your life. Instead of taking the worst case scenarios, being afraid, um, you should have this new perception. You need a new perspective um, over your life here. All right? So, um, Virgo, you, the, the, the uh, desired even will happen when you will make this work within yourself, within your mind, the way you look at life, the way you do things. Um, and you see, you have this card of just go with the flow. Sometimes just go with life uh, without worrying as much, without... Um, you know, 
with more of a positive thinking. Uh, instead of saying, oh, what if everything will, is going to go wrong? Say, what if everything is going to go amazing, right? I mean, see yourself succeeding. Let's see now um, an advice for you in the end of the reading. Let's see these oracle cards, what they have for you. So we have two cards here. Just a moment, please. Um, so, wow. So you have number, first I will talk about numbers. You have the, the Empress and Divine Guidance and you have the Empress here too. So definitely, um, you, <laughs> this is a message for you, all right? Confirmation. So you have number three. The Empress is number three. Number three is about growth, about creativity. It's about development, right? By taking those first steps towards your greatness. The Empress card is coming with the message of time to act upon your plans, creativity is rewarded, luxurious or abundant resources because you have everything that you need to create the life that you deserve. It's just that self-confidence, your thoughts are keeping you from getting there. Your commitment to your plans, to your ideas, because you know Virgo is not enough only to um, it's not enough only to have to be motivated. Because motivation we find easily, right? Uh, motivation is not a problem. The problem is perseverance. The problem is discipline to keep working towards that moment when you reach your goal. That's the problem, to have this discipline in our life. The problem is not the motivation, because you could say, I, I want that, I want that. You start, you know, you get excited. But the thing is to don't stop, to stay committed, to keep on going, no matter what, because you need to be focused on your goal. So with the next card here, you have number five. And with the divine guidance here, number five is, is a number of instability, but the, number five is also a number of solving problems, um, of, of finding solutions to problems, right? This instability to uh, change the situation. So this card is coming with the message of the search for meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. Right, Virgo? And we talk about this. You need a new perspective. You need a different approach uh, in your life right now. So my dears, I really hope you enjoyed this reading. I really hope it was helpful. And um, if you resonate with it, if you want to, to support me and my channel here, please give a like to this video and subscribe because very soon we are going to meet again and we'll see what else is coming for you, my dear Virgo. Until then, take care of yourself. Bye.